Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exposing a new gown that's going around here in China. And I'm gonna share, share with you two of the scammers so you know who to avoid, but you also know what to look out for so you don't get caught up in this scam. When it comes to China and scams and scammers, they've been around forever, right? It's nothing new here in China. And I've been here for 14 years and I've seen it all. And I'm sharing this with you because this is a new one, right? This is a new one and they're pretty sick on how they're trying to, to do this. So I'm sharing with you the scam and also how to avoid this scam and what to look out for and how to protect yourself from scams like this here in China. So uh, these scams are targeting foreigners specifically and mostly they're like spending more time trying to target non-native English speakers, but they do try to target some other foreigners as well, like Americans and Canadians and stuff, but it's mostly non-native English speakers who are being targeted by this particular scam. So this is basically what they're doing. So a person will contact you posing as a job recruiter or like a headhunter or something like that. And they will tell you, okay, we're looking for a teacher and they'll tell you like all these metrics that look really good on paper. Like they'll quote you like a really high salary that's higher than normal. Like they might say, oh, we'll give you like 45 or 50,000 a month or something like that. Sometimes they'll just say like 30 or 35. It depends on like, you know, your experience and stuff like that, how much they decide to quote you. But they'll quote you a, a high salary and it'll be in a big city like Shenzhen, Shanghai, Beijing, they'll say you can go work in this city and we'll pay this much money. And then they'll send you these pictures of this really fancy like luxury apartment and they'll say you can have this apartment for free. It's five minutes from the school and uh, they send you these beautiful pictures and all this and that. And so what they do, they just say, you know, we need a teacher and we need one like right now, whatever, we want you to come over as soon as possible. And they don't even interview you or nothing. They'll just straight send you a work contract and they'll say, when can you start? And they'll say, send, they'll say like, send me the contract. They'll send you a work contract. And this contract is bogus, right? It's not a real contract. It'll have the name of a school and it'll be like in English and Chinese and all this stuff. And then they'll ask you to sign the contract digitally and send it back and in the contract and also what the scammers will tell you they'll say like you know you need to pay for your own visa process that's red flag number one because most schools will always pay for your visa or they will reimburse you for it at least but they'll pay you for the for the whole visa process so they say you need to pay for your visa process so second thing they're going to ask you for is your passport they'll say send me sign the contract send the contract back send me your uh, passport like your front passport page and so once you send that information right then they're going to say okay now we need you to send us like 1000 RMB or something like that to process the visa and then you send them the money and then they disappear you never hear from them again so that's basically how they're they're scamming people they're giving you this crazy uh, good job offer luxury apartment all this and that you send them your passport first right so your passport has all your information on it right it's got your uh your birth date you know your country you're born your full name it's got your passport number has everything they can use that and make fake documents from that or right? steal your identity and then secondly they take your money because you got to pay them this for this money for this visa fee they take your money and run so this is how you can spot this scam, right? Whenever somebody gives you one of these crazy offers or something, and if you really are interested in the job or the offer and you wanna see if it's legit or not, if you tell them, I wanna meet you face to face and sign the contract in person, and I'll hand you my documents then. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna say, oh no, just do it over the internet, it's easier, it's faster. And then you can come back and tell them, say, look, I want to come over and have a look at the school while I'm there too, so I can you know see what's around the school, or see like you know what the living situation is like, and uh, you know check around the neighborhood and stuff like that to make sure is you know somewhere I really want to be, and I would love to have a look around the school. And they will not send you the location because they're lying. They'll say, oh, oh, we're we're out of town right now. We're busy. We can't meet with you. Uh, you know, it's whatever the off season. There's nobody at school. They'll make any kind of excuse to not meet with you because they don't want to meet with you. They don't want to meet with you in person and sign the contract or get your documents or get your money in person. They want to do it over the internet so they can disappear 
as soon as possible. So be on the lookout for this particular scam and do not send your passport information to any random recruiter over the internet, right? If they need your passport information, you can at least, uh, you know, blur it out, blur out the passport number, blow it, blur out some important information, but you can let them see your picture, let them see like which country you're from, but blur out your important information until you actually meet them in person to handle the processes. Because if not, you'll get your identity stolen and they'll take your money and run. So be aware of this scam. And this right here are two scammers right here who recently tried to pull this on me and some other people I know. So that's why I'm sharing this contacts here with you. So uh, be on the lookout for these two guys. And not just these two guys, but anybody who's trying to do this scam on you. Be very careful because right now there's a shortage of teachers in China. So uh, what they're doing is they're taking advantage of it because there's a lot of non-native English speakers in China, which technically is not really legal according to Chinese law for the non-native English speakers to get a job teaching. But they are working here and they are teaching because there are some loopholes. So what these scammers do, they mostly target these non-native speakers because they know it's very difficult or almost illegal for them to get a job. And so they try really hard to, to trick them into thinking like, you know, this is really a great offer and blah, blah, blah. And then they get your money and they run. So be on the lookout for that. Be careful. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And I'll see y'all on the next one.